I thought I'd do a cheeky wee vlog for y'all in case you're as bored as I am. Actually, I say I'm, as, I'm really bored, but time is actually going by pretty quickly. I've not really gotten much done in my life lately. And yesterday I didn't even leave the house, um, which didn't look good for my weight this morning, to be fair, because I had fuck all steps. <clears throat> and, um, but it's been so cold outside. I mean, I know it's December. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but it doesn't mean <clears throat> I need to be out in it right now. Um, I am going to venture out today. It's rainy, but really small drops, luckily. So I think it'll be annoying, but I'll get in some steps and go and try to score cheap food, which is what I do every day, except I didn't yesterday. I've got plenty of cheap food still in the house, which is kind of good. Um, not a whole lot to tell. It looks like, you know, numbers are continuing to slowly drop in Glasgow and I think most of Scotland, but definitely in Glasgow. And, um, well, they, there's, it seems very likely by that next weekend, um, we'll be able to open up again part-time, not selling booze. Um, so hopefully next weekend I'll, I'll maybe have a shift. I might not though, because <laughs> there's not going to be many possibilities for shifts next weekend. <laughs> there's only one shift next weekend I could possibly do, and it doesn't mean I'm going to get it. But you like to think I might get a shift. I don't know. Um, uh, and uh, there's been talk about, do I want to work Christmas? Which I said, I do want to work Christmas, obviously. I want to work whatever I can work. But again, there's no guarantee I'm going to get to work cr Christmas, but here's hoping. I live local, so it's probably better chance that I would get the chance to do it because most people are not going to have to pay for a cab to go home on Christmas. Um, so yeah, I, I gotta think my, my odds are good there too. But overall, um, it's uh, just really kind of boring times. I've actually put the heating on in my house and as we already ascertained I'm really broke and didn't want to put heating on but I put it on today because I just thought I need to take chill off the air for a while. I mean the central heating it's not doing a whole lot. Got hot coffee that tends to do more but um you know um so if I do this for a couple hours during the day hopefully I'll take the chill off the air and warm up the flat a little bit because it's going to be really cold all weekend like 30s so you know two, three degrees, depending on what country you live in. So it's cold. Um, not good at all, really. <laughs> no snow or anything, because this is Glasgow. We never get snow. Uh, but, you know, by the way, look, it's Covey. I just feel like he's not had much FaceTime lately in the, on my vlog. So it's Covey. He's still here. <laughs> but he might not be around for much longer because the vaccine's coming next week to Scotland. woo hoo not that I'm going to see a vaccine for the next two years, probably, but, um, you know, that's fine. I don't care. I'm not really that worried about getting COVID. I was in the beginning, but I'm not really now. I know way too many people have had it that have got through it. Although I do have a close friend right now who I'm pretty sure has it, and I've not heard from her in a couple of days, so I'm slightly concerned there. Um, but other than that, um, she didn't get it in Scotland, by the way. She's in England right now. Um, <laughs> great. <laughs> but um, overall, you know, just trying to pass time and spend time with friends, freezing to death outside and getting soaked. Um, yeah, it's not, that's <laughs> so, so ridiculous. You know, you got to laugh because if you don't, you're going to throw yourself off a bridge. But um, Todd's doing a tour next year uh, in March, for, sorry, February, March. It's a virtual tour. So there's all kinds of ways you could, I mean, you could, there's actually going to be 19 or something people can see the show um, in person, which I would fucking kill to do. They're all being filmed in Chicago, which is just a 45 minute flight from my mom. But I can't, I can't fucking, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford to go to America in February, March, even if it was safe for me to go. And even if it, I didn't have to self quarantine for two weeks when I got home, because I would definitely have to quarantine, I think the way things are now. And I can't imagine they're going to prove so much in two months time that I wouldn't have to. And there's no way I can afford to take two weeks off work plus the week or whatever it would take me to go to visit. You know, I, I, it's just, it's madness. So it's killing me. I, I, I can't imagine having an intimate kind of audience with a t great Todd show with a good production that's going to be online and, and you know, bah! I hate being poor. I really, really, really hate being poor. There's Todd in the background there behind me. Hi, Todd. So, yeah. 
I mean, I'm definitely going to see a show or three online, I'm sure. I don't know if I can afford much more than that. But um, I'm hoping I'm going to get together with a couple of Todd friends to watch it together. If restrictions permit, we'll see. It's a couple of months off. And like I said, we're getting the virus, the virus, the vaccine. <laughs> we got plenty of the virus um, in the next week. So, you know, we would hope by February, March, at least we'd be able to meet another household and watch a concert together in the house. Fingers crossed. So this is all the excitement that's going on in my life right now. I eat hee haw. Um, I've got exercises for my physio, for my knee. And that appointment actually went really well. The woman was really, really thorough. She's going to, we're going to talk again next week. And um, yeah, I've not started the exercises though, even though I got them almost a week ago. Because I thought I had COVID, as I already said. And, and then I had this really, really sore gut for like four days. I don't know what was going on. Seems fine today. But I mean, it was like my, you know, my roll of fat that is my abdomen these days was just to stand up, it hurt. To move, it hurt. It, you know, I, I thought maybe, you know, it was like kind of rumbly tummy, like when you're, you know, you've got the shits and things like that. Because I did have the shits actually for over a week. I thought maybe it had something to do with that. But I actually think it, maybe I strained something, but I can't even begin to imagine what I strained or how because I don't fucking lift anything of any weight ever because of my lower back. So absolute mystery. But the good news is, it feels a lot better. It started feeling a lot better yesterday and today. I really don't think there's anything going on at all anymore. Hooray! So because of that, I just wasn't feeling like, let's tackle some exercise for my knee. I was just thinking, let's sit in the house and be miserable and, and think about, you know, how we're going to get through this next three months or whatever. Because I think that's how long it's going to be before anything normal comes, starts to happen again. Um, I think they fixed my roof, by the way. <laughs> I mean, the hole in the ceiling's not been fixed because nobody really told us that they fixed the roof. Like, I've not seen a bill for it or anything. But uh, there was scaffolding up and then the scaffolding came down. When the scaffolders were taking it down, I said, is that the roof fixed then? And they said, yeah, yeah. So, and they, you know, uh, in the meantime, a guy from the factors was in my building and I said, there's scaffolding outside. Is that because they're fixing the roof? And he said, uh, yeah, yeah, they are. So <laughs> this is how I know that it happened because I never heard anybody fixing the roof. But, you know, what are you going to do? But I'm thrilled because it seems like at some point I'm going to have a bunch of people in my house redoing my whole fucking ceiling. And that'll be a lot of fun, won't it? I can't wait for that to happen. It's like going to be the biggest excitement ever. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, Wine Advent Calendar is still turning out to be a great Advent Calendar. And uh, stay safe. Stay the fuck away from me. Don't touch anything, particularly me. Don't touch me. Uh, wash your hands, mask up, and uh, yeah, ho, ho, ho.